Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Techie Sugan. In this video, we are going to learn about problem solving on pattern. We are going to accept a number from the user depending upon the value we are going to draw pattern. In this program, we are supposed to draw square pattern. If your value is 4, we are supposed to print 4 rows and 4 columns. The same way, if your value is 3, you are supposed to display 3 rows and 3 columns as your output. This particular problem can be solved by using two methods, either by using two loops or by using single loop. We will go ahead with the implementation of both the methods one by one. First, let us accept input value from the user. Let me declare num assign int input. We are going to accept the input value from the user enter number. Now, we will go ahead with the first method, method 1. We are going to implement by using two loops. This two loop method implementation is done in C programming, C++, Java as well as Python which is common for all the programming language. Why is this two loops required? First, let us understand that. Let me show you this particular diagram the same way in Excel. If you have n value is 4, we are supposed to display this particular square pattern. You can notice that how many rows are there? 4 rows. And how many columns are there? 4 columns. In order to mention the rows and columns, we need 2 loops. One is for your row, another is for your column. So first loop, let me declare for your row. For i in range. How many rows are there? You can notice that if your n value is 4, 4 rows are there. If your n value is 3, 3 rows are there. So, your row iteration should be till n. And if you are giving only n, what happens? It will take from 0 to n minus 1. N minus 1. If at all you are not comfortable with 0 to n minus 1, you want to start with 1, give the range as 1 comma n plus 1. It will go from 1 to given number. And this i is for your row. If you want to mention column, let me mention one more for loop for j in range and how many columns are there four columns are there where your row and column depends upon your n value if n value is four we'll be having four rows and four columns if n value is three we'll have three rows and three columns that is the reason i'm having range value as n and what i'm supposed to print i'm supposed to print star so let me print star as we know that by default print has a line break capacity I don't want to print for uh, break my line for each and every print. I want to break after printing the complete row. So let me give ends with space. Clear? There, there is a reason beginning giving ends with space. If at all you are not giving after printing one star, it will print to the other line. By default, it has a line break capacity. I don't want line break to happen. I want line break to happen once printing complete row. For the next row, I want to break my line so the one complete row is mentioned by using i loop so after completing your jth iteration printing of one particular particular complete row i want line break so here i'm supposed to mention space and here let me give print here i want line break so let me give space clear now let us execute this particular program let me modify this n value here since i used n so I will modify here. Now let us execute this. If I give n value as 4, you can notice that 4 rows and 4 columns are printed here. A simple program. This is by using 2 loops. Same program can be mentioned by using single loop. In the previous program, we are using 2 loops. One loop is for your row, another loop is for your column. Here, I am going to mention only row. I am not going to represent column. So, let us go ahead implementation of your row. We have to mention your row by using one loop. So, let me mention for i in range. And as we know that how many rows are there? n rows are there. So, let me mention my range value as n. So, for each and every row, what I am doing? I am printing star. So, let me print star. How many star you want? If you are giving print star, one star will be printed. How many star you want to be printed? For each and every row, how many star will be printed now? One star will be printed. But I, how many star I want to be printed? I want n star to be printed. If my n value is 4, for each and every row, I want 4 star to be printed. So what you are going to do is, we are going to implement replication here. Star n. So how does it execute? This i loop is for mentioning your row. 
so if i this particular i loop will be executed n time so n value is 4 four time it will be executed for each and every iteration each and every row four star is going to be printed so now, now let us go ahead with the implementation of it now let me execute this you can notice that if i give n value as 3 it is displaying 3 stars there is no changes in your output the previous program also gives you the same result 3 stars 3 rows and 3 columns the same way the second method also gives you the same result there is no changes in your output if you are using two loops we can able to identify that the number of iteration is very high moreover the amount of memory capacity for each and every data execution is also high so the best way to implement this method too I hope so you are clear with this particular video. If at all you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.